This film story is of such a dangerous mountain in which not only humans but also animals are in danger due to climate change. So what will happen next? How will everyone survive? Today we will see in this story. The story begins. We are told that the whole world is very worried due to climate change. Scientists believe that in the next 10 years, all the snow will melt, and the layer of snow on the mountains will also melt and break. This will cause a lot of damage, humans themselves will responsible for this. After this, we see a climate station at an altitude of 1,300 meters. Some scientists had come there to find out about the weather. One of them was scientist Janet. With him were the other three companions and one of his dog, who were all working at that station and had come to investigate the weather. Janet was very drunk at night. As soon as it was morning, he woke up with a loud voice. His companion had come to call him. Janet comes out even though he does not want to. He finds that at some distance from the station, the weather machine is damaged. It is not working properly. They were not able to work properly without that machine. So they had to fix that machine as soon as possible. Janik had to go to fix that machine. That's why he listens to everyone. When he goes out, he sees his dog outside, who was looking at a mountain in a strange way. As if that dog was seeing something strange on those icy mountains. Here Janik's companion says to him, Janik, it's been a long time since we've been here. You live very separately and why is that? In fact, we should live together in such a place. We should be good friends with each other. Janik says, I will tell you the reason for this later. For now, you come behind me. While they were going, Janik's dog barks and goes on a different path. When they both follow him, they stop and see a mount, which was covered with red snow. They were surprised and happy to see this snow. That's why Janik's companion is looking at this snow sample here, so that he can do research on it later. Janik also hears strange noises from the nearby cave, but he doesn't pay attention to this. And then he begins to fix the climate machine's transformer. But his dog follows that sound and goes to the cave. There was a fox near the stones, which was breathing strangely. Something was moving in his stomach. Suddenly the fox's stomach bursts. Janik was also hearing his dog crying outside. That's why when he gets up in a hurry, his head bumps. His companion also fell from the mountain. When they go and see, his dog was crying. They also see the fox's corpse there. But his dog's body also had a strange wound. More strange noises were coming from inside the cave. But Janik doesn't pay any attention to them, and brings his dog out. They came back to their station. Janik's companion companion gives that snow sample to his other companion. His companion checks what he brought with him, says this is a strange thing, some strange bacteria, which is creating a strange creature by mixing humans and animals. She says to Janik, from the place where did you get this sample from, you take me to that glacier. I want to take more samples and research them. Janik says I won't go out at night. Never at this time. A dangerous fox is roaming near the cave. His companions say to him, Janik, now you are making this excuse. There is no danger near the cave. But they still decide to go the next day. One of their companions says, Prime Minister is coming with his team at after two days, so none of US will tell her anything about that red rock. Janik says this is my job, I have to tell her all this. There they see the Prime Minister, who had come with some reporters. Janik's old friend was also with her, whose name was Tencha, but Janik and she were now separated. Tencha also used to work in the mountains before. Here at the station, Janik's companions were explaining to him, that you will not tell anything to the minister's team, because this is just like their trip. They will get scared for no reason. That's why Janik's companion also gives him a drug, so that he 
can't tell anyone anything. Janet gets a call from Tensha. She says that tomorrow morning we will go to the mountains with the minister and will take pictures. Janik was feeling very good that after a long time he will meet Tensha. But Janik's team was worried. What if he tells all this to his friend Tensha? When Janik comes out, he feels the sound of someone walk. He immediately calls his companions. That thing was attacking Janik. When his companions come out, Janik says to everyone, Hide, a strange looking fox has attacked me, who also had horns on his head. But no one believes what Janik says. They all felt that whatever Janik is saying, maybe he is intoxicated. But Janik says that there is a big danger. I will have to tell this to the minister. At the same time, Janik and his companions have a fight. One of his companions explains, Look, there is nothing like this. You have a misunderstanding. Go, go and rest. Janik goes to sleep with his dog. In the morning, Janik also calls Tensha and tells her, Don't go ahead. Your life may be in danger. But she also does not listen to him and tells her team to go ahead. Then Janik takes his companion to the same mountain. When they go and see, the red bacteria on that mountain was disappeared. Still, Janik's companion takes a little sample. Janik looks at a strange bird nearby who was covered in a shell he is scared to see him he kicks and backs during all this the minister was also moving ahead with her team and they stop at a beautiful place and start taking pictures all of them were also going to janik's main station tensha tells the minister about the change in the weather all of them were standing there taking pictures meanwhile a cameraman of theirs is bitten by a mosquito when he hits him there was a strange red bacteria in that mosquito they're at the station when janik and his companion were researching on a strange insect. Then it starts moving. Everyone was scared of it. His companion says that there is the same red bacteria in it, which was found on that mountain. She says that this strange insect is made from the DNA of a fox and a mosquito. And this is a red bacteria, which can create a strange creature by combining the DNA of animals. She says that the red bacteria that was on the mountain, when its ice melted, it must have been included in the water. The water that the fox must have drunk, and the mosquito that he must have eaten. This insect has been created by combining the DNA of both of them. Janik says, what will happen if some other animal bites a human? She says that if this happens, then the human mind will also become like an animal. After which Janik goes to his room and looks at his dog. He understood that there is a creature in his dog's stomach, which is slowly growing. Janik calls Tensha again, says that the way you are coming now, there can be a danger of red bacteria animals. You should come from another way. Tensha tells her team, when she was talking to Janik, she also listens to her dog's cry, says Janik, don't do anything now. I am coming. We will save him together. The cameraman who was bitten by the mosquito, his condition was also getting worse. But the poor man thinks, maybe all this is happening to him because of fatigue. Then here we see a girl running, who was chased by red bacteria eagle. That girl's foot hits a stone and she falls. And that dangerous eagle was attacking her feet again and again. There at the station, Janik tells his team, I will tell the minister about all this. But the people of his team refuse him, says don't be crazy. People will be scared of this red bacteria, and drama will be made. We will do some research on it. We will find some solution, and see, then we will also become famous. But he does not believe in any of his words says if you have the courage, then stop me. Janik had gone now. He sees on the way that a goat's stomach was torn. Janik thinks we are going to have a very big danger. There, the cameraman also had a fever in the team of Tensha. That's why the whole team thinks of stopping there. The area where the mosquito had bitten the cameraman, that part was swollen. And there was also puss there. Tensha tells everyone that no, we do not have to stop. We have to go to the station soon and ask to go. 
Then that girl comes running to him, the one who was bitten by the eagle. She comes and falls near them, and can't say anything. Then these people see that dangerous eagle, which was circling around them. They were scared to see that eagle. The minister's bodyguard tries to shoot that eagle, but the eagle suddenly disappears. Everyone thinks that it has gone, but it was not like that. It suddenly comes and attacks the bodyguard, and kills him. The cameraman who was bitten by the mosquito, he runs away from here in fear. But still, Janik had come, who saves everyone and brings them to the station. They quickly lay that girl down and treat her, who was bitten by the eagle. But half of Tencha's team was left outside. Tencha tells Janik, you will have to call for help soon, so you Call. But Janik's partner tells, that our two partners have taken the phone, who have gone to the other station, and they will come back by tomorrow morning. Janik is very angry about this. He kills his partner, says that because of you, we are stuck in a big problem. The minister says here, that you can use my phone, but he tells them that at such a height, phone signals do not come. We need a satellite phone for help. They could not do anything. Then Janik Janik hears the voice of his dog. He goes to see very carefully, because he felt that there must have been a strange creature inside him. Here at the station, Tensha asks Janik's companion, Tell the truth, what are you hiding from us? Outside Janik's two partners, go out to find out about the weather machine. But after reaching there, they find out that both did not have the keys to go inside. They were fighting with each other. But then, one of them breaks the lock. When they go inside, then Janik's partner, who was researching on that insect, she had locked him in his secret box. When they open it, that creature suddenly sticks to her face. When she tries to get rid of herself, then her partner picks up a stone and hits it on its head. That insect creature had gone far, but Janik's partner had killed his other partner. Here at the station, Tensha also finds out about the red bacteria animal. She gets very angry and says, why didn't you tell them about such a big danger? When she goes to Janik, she sees her dog. Janik shows her his dog's stomach, in which something was running. She gives Janik an injection. She says this is the solution. But Janik wanted to kill his dog, because he couldn't see his pain anymore. The minister was very angry inside the station. Why did these people hide such a big thing from him? She starts beating Janik's partner. But when Janik was going to find his other partners, who had gone to the other station, suddenly the same partner comes, whom Janik was going to find. He had come to the station, and he had also killed his friend. Friend. He comes and says close the door quickly, because there is a goat behind me, which has turned into a creature, and the mosquitoes were also coming behind me. When he comes inside, both the animals were trying to come inside, but Janik stops both of them from coming inside, and closes the door. He asks his other partner about his partner who went out with him. He asks him where is she, you'd phone. He lies to everyone. He says that he doesn't know where she got lost in the mountains and she had a phone. In the meantime, the creature goat tries to break the door again. She was not an ordinary goat. She had turned into a terrifying, powerful goat, which was shaking the whole station. She becomes silent for a minute. Everything had stopped, but suddenly she tries to break the door and come inside. She had a shield with her, but Janik was stopping them from coming inside alone. The minister comes ahead, and makes a hole in the head of the goat with a drill machine. Everyone was looking at the brave minister. She had killed the goat and takes a breath of peace. Tensha tells the team will reach by tomorrow afternoon to save us. But they don't know that the whole team is present at the research station. The girl who had been bitten by the eagle, her condition was also deteriorating. Tensha and Janik decide that they will go to take the phone for help, and will also find their partner who is lost in the mountains. Janik takes his partner with him, because he did not believe in the story of getting lost in the mountain. That they go, and the rest of the people had closed the door. The girl who had been bitten by an eagle, he had also come to her senses. They all see her leg where the eagle had bitten. It seemed that something was going on inside her. Janik's partner says who was standing there, 
Looking at it, it seems that a new animal is going to be born. All the people get scared and start going out. The minister says we will operate this girl. The thing that is in her leg, we will cut it and take it out. And will burn it. This is what they do. With which the girl's life is saved. Janik and Tencha who had gone to get help. They were thinking that maybe we will not be able to save the girl. Janik tries to run away from here. But Janik shows him a gun and stops him. And says, stop. You can't go like this. There everyone was quiet at the station. That he saved the girl's life. Then someone starts knocking on the door loud. When a man opens the door. He was the cameraman at the door, whom the mosquito had bitten. His face was filled with strange blisters. He was telling everyone, please someone help me, someone save me. But then insects start coming out of his blister. Everyone was scared. He falls on fire out of fear, because of which his whole body was on fire, and runs out. The minister also quickly closes the door. Janik and Tensha had reached the station, where Janik's companion was pretending to find his other companion, whom he had killed. Janik and Tensha had seen their companion's dead body. Then Janik's companion shows his gun and threatens them. Don't you dare tell anyone about this. When Tensha comes to him, then he also attacks him with a gun and tries to kill Janik. In this, a bullet is fired, and the whole cave was lit up. But then a strange demon, spider and fox come out of the cave, and tear Janik's companion apart and eat him. The attention of those animals goes to Janik and Tensha, both try to escape from there. Janik was caught by the fox, but Tensha saves him. She attacks the fox and kills him. Then they go to their companion's dead body, who had a satellite phone, and call for help. It was morning when they see from a distance. Smoke was rising from the station. They quickly go and see. So the girl was also dead, whom the eagle had bitten. After a while, they also hear the sound of the helicopter. When they go outside and see, so people had come outside to help them. Before going, Tensha goes to Janik's room, where her dog had given birth to a child. This child is also born due to red bacteria. Janik was going to kill that child, but Tensha stops him, says I want to take him with me. As soon as they sit in the helicopter, so they see another mount, on which there was red ice means another danger. They also hear the voice of that small child, whom Tensha had brought with her. Tensha and Janija look at each other. They had come to know of the coming danger, which they were bringing with them. And with this, the fantastic tale of this film ends here.